What's up guys, Carl here. Today we're going to do something a bit different and that is to re-sleeve or re-wrap 18650 batteries. These are lithium ion batteries you can find in like power tool batteries or laptop batteries. And um, as you take them out from the, the battery packs, they can look kind of crappy as you can see. I've written on this one while trying to determine the capacity, but you can see the wrapping is actually too far up so you can see the bottom there and on the top here you can actually pull off the wrapping if you want to. So this one needs re-sleeving and the even worse scenarios if if you find batteries that are like glued together you can see this one is actually some black gunk and then you have some tape here. So if you try to put it in one of these um, whatever you want to call it 18650 holders you know, they won't either fit if this gunk is too far down and just generally look crappy. So what we're gonna do is take the sleeving off this one, put this red sleeving, which I picked up for I think about $8 or so on eBay, five meter strip, and uh, turn into something that looks quite like this. So let's take all the crap away. These are some of the tools. You need a pair of scissors, you need actual silicone wrapping PVC thring, shrink thingy. You need a lighter or some kind of heat source like a heating gun or candles. And you need something to measure the battery and the actual wrapping with. And it could be useful to just grab a knife as well. So first off, we'll just do a strip. This one doesn't have the battery protection circuit. The thing you want to be sure to keep is this white thing inside. If the camera will zoom in on that. Um, that white protective little cap will protect the center here, which is the positive, to the negative, which is actually just behind this. So if I place this knife across here without having that protection, you short circuit it and things will go bad. So I said just make a score so you can get your knife or whatever tool in between here. Don't cut too hard, just wanna make sure to get a little edge in the wrapping and then just tear it off. So my idea is to make large battery packs for like boat battery and so on. So I've taken these out of laptop batteries, measured the capacity using a IMAX B6, and then uh, I'm gonna rewrap them in like color code so I know that these red ones are about between 1750 to 1900, I think, yeah, below two amp hours in capacity, but above the like crappy ones at 1500. So this is what it looks like without having any protection circuit. So all of this is your negative and up here. This one was actually good because some of these, the, the protective sleeving isn't stuck on properly. So it'll just fall off and it's a bit of a hassle to keep it in place when shrinking. So I'm gonna take this crap little power fix electric digital caliper. So if you want to, and if you don't really know, so you just don't touch the positive and negative. So this one is about uh, 65 or so. Um, but what you want to do is add about three millimeters in back and front. Yes, to that's what I read online at least. So what I've been doing with these kinds of batteries is put it at about 71 which should be good, should be enough. And I mean, it's not rocket science, so if it says 70, 87, it's not a big deal. And the good thing about these calipers is that since this edge is quite sharp, you can just put one edge by the edge of the wrapping and then make a little score mark. So now we have a score mark, as you can see. Take some scissors. And then cut as straight 
as possible. So there we go. Piece of shrink wrap thingy. And this one will fit the battery if I can get it open like that. Keep it open and then put the battery inside. So I'm not sure how well you see this. What I've been doing is having like one, one and a half millimeters of space at the bottom. So it just gets this little lip right there, covers as much as possible up there. So you don't, you don't want it to go too far up because that will cover the positive end and you don't want to leave like an opening here. You don't want to go like too far back because that won't get a good cover. Like it won't catch over this thing. So put basically like one mil, what I think is enough. Just eyeball a bit and then take a heat source. Now you don't want to like heat it this close to battery because you don't want the battery to overheat. So we're gonna do Hopefully the camera won't freak out because of the heat. Then just as you can see it goes away pretty quickly. So get that little, little lip right there. Should be enough. Just keep the heat source away. So you can use a candle or heat gun or whatever. Just go around, make sure it's heating. And now as you can see, when I put the heat, it just makes a good, and if I'm not running out of gas in the lighter, so like that, in, sometimes it gets a little lit, but that doesn't really matter. That could be probably fixed with just a bit more heat if the lighter is working with me. There we go, it flattens out. And then you can just go across the battery itself. And then you have a re-sleeved or re-shrink wrapped battery. And this will go into the collection, which is basically just having one of these. And it fits quite well compared to if we take one of these, I need to re-sleeve. As you can see the tape here on the bottom, this will get stuck in here. So it's tough compared to this one. You can actually spin around inside, but this one is just stuck because of that tape. So it needs re-sleeving. And if you get multiple colors, you can just color code them according to capacity or if it just fits your battery battery bank in any kind of way. So as you can see, this one is actually two different colors on that on a protective cap. So that one is white, and that one is red. And all of these batteries needs re-sleeving. And then I'm waiting for some other colors so I can rate the ones that are better and worse. So quite easy, just go on eBay or similar sites. They come pre-cut, but those ones are like compared to the amount you get, I think this one is a better option because what you could do is if you want to, you can just place in series and then have one long shrink. If you just put a magnet in there, you have a two cell, put three cells, you get a 12 volt battery pack. Kind of hard to put a balanced charging lead, but you know, whatever. So uh, thank you for watching this clip and I will see you next time.